Hey guys, I'm Layla. So today we're gonna be talking about Roto soloing the Sand Devil. What? Are you kidding me? This showcase is courtesy of Wolf. Thank you so very much. So we are gonna see Rodos is actually built in Lifesteal. So look at that. So he's got Lifesteal and he also does have on some Perception as well too. Let's take a look at his stats. For his HP, he's at 31,000 HP. 5,000 attack, and a lot of attack here. 2,600 defense, 208 speed, you know, almost crit capped. But we got 234 on the crit damage, 110 on the resistance, and 157 on the accuracy. Now, I wanna say he is fully booked, he is, and let's take a look at his masteries. So for his masteries, we have him down the offense and the defense trees. What you don't see behind me is methodical. And then for his T6, we have war master. So now what's very helpful with him against the boss, let's talk about his abilities here, right? Is Terror Scourge. He has a chance of decreasing defense and a chance of getting an extra turn. So Vitality Plunder is he destroys the target's max HP, then adds that HP to his own HP. And then of course, you know, there's, there's a little bit of condition on here, right? But this also is going to help with mitigating the max HP that's gonna be taken off of him as well, because we know that's going to happen. And then Faded Destruction, he ignores 60% of target's defense, also ignores some kibble block damage, which we know the boss doesn't get that, but he does ignore 60% of the target's defense. And then the passive, this isn't necessarily, you know, this doesn't work against bosses, but it says decreases the damage taken for bosses by 15%. I mean, it's 30% of Siffy's on here, but we're not gonna have Siffy on this team. It's going to be 15% here. So again, this, this rest of it doesn't work against bosses, but this on top of having the lifesteal set is going to give him survivability against the boss. So the team that we do have running in is it's going to be Raiho, Ninja, Chagor. We are going to have Royal Guard in lead because of his ore, which is ally attack and dungeons by 35%. And then of course it's going to be Rodos. And having that attack aura is going to again do, you know, it's gonna increase how much damage Rodos can do. So let's go take him into the Sand Devil. All right, guys, here we are, Sand Devil's Necropolis, stage 11. And you're gonna see that the cop we have here is going to be Royal Guard. We have Royal Guard in lead for ally attack and dungeons by 35%. We have Ninja, Chagor, Rodos, and we have Raiho. And we do have a team preset, so let's check out the presets. Again, remember, it's only one round with the boss, so you only really need to do round one here. On Royal Guard, we have him starting with his takedown, which is damage increase the corner Emmy max HP. We're shutting off hamstring. Ninja, we have him start with a science slash, which has a freeze. When it only attacks the boss, ignores the target's defense. Chagor, we're having him do Heartstopper once, but then we're gonna have him shut it off after that. Venom Storm. A, you know, we AUE twice on the poison. And what's great with him again is we love his passive. We love his passive. Rotos, we're just gonna let Rotos do Rotos things. And then Raiho, we're gonna start with Absorption, which is continuous heals. And we're gonna have her do her pressure points, basically to get all those debuffs when he's asleep, right? We know stun doesn't work, but we wanna land all the other debuffs. This is stage 11, so guys, remember, there's kind of no need to really push too high or too hard with this dungeon. You know, get in there and do what you can do if you want to, because for the amount of oil you need and the amount of energy it costs, it's, you know, it's, I guess it's really up to you if you feel like it's gonna be worth it or not. So that's why we're gonna be here in 11 and this will be full auto. So the idea is, you know, Chagor is going to sleep him and when he's asleep, we're gonna be getting damage off of Rodos and we're gonna be getting damage off of Royal Guard as well too. So there he is asleep, so hopefully we can keep him asleep. There he is, back asleep. Hopefully we can keep him there. Our beautiful Raiho is down, unfortunately. But hopefully we should be able to keep him asleep and do damage when he's asleep and not uh, have our team get wiped. All right, so we got Rodos left up. Now Rodos is in life steal again. So he should be fine here, hopefully. We'll see. Look at him go. He doesn't even care. <laughs> Why 
Rodos. Uh, Rodos gonna just solo the boss here all by his bad self. Shh, don't let Plarium see. They might try to nerf him. Get him, Rodos! Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's a beautiful thing, guys. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, Rodos is like, I don't need the rest of a team. I got this. I got this all on my own. All by myself. There it is. Look at that. Rodos just soloing the Sand Devil like a boss. He didn't even care. Look at that. He did 7 to 10. <laughs> you guys want me to run it again? Okay, we'll run it again one more time. Look at that. Rodos didn't even care. Rodos OP just soloed the boss. Didn't even care. And I, yeah. What's nice with him too is in this build, he happens to be in Lifesteal. And having Royal Garden lead also ensures that Rodos does more damage too because of his aura. Go. Rodos just doing Rodos things, guys. Look at that. Huh. So it might be fun for my Rodos action now that I think about it. So again, guys, remember this is stage 11. This is stage 11. Yeah, there's some other champs that can kind of solo in some ways too. Like we see people talking about my salad can do stages 10, 11. There we go. So what helps is Rodos is regaining back some of his HP as well too, if you guys watch his bar. Because even though the boss is decreasing his max HP, he is regaining some back as well. Yep, exactly. So you guys are seeing that his heals help him survive, not to mention he's in lifesteal as well. So he ends up just, he's just fine here. And there we go. There we go. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Wolf wants me to do it one more time. So what he's testing out is he kind of wants to see if Chagor can keep the boss asleep. If he can, that's great. If he can't, no big deal because Rodos just solos it anyway. No big deal. How did we get a Roto? <laughs> Pray to the shard gods for good RNG. That's how. Though, guys, refresh my memory. Was Rodos a fusion at one point? That might have been pre my time. That might have been PL, pre Layla. <laughs> credit card pull, credit card. The funny thing is, I actually do have, we're doing this live on Switch. I have the perfect emote for you. It's Layla Credit. There you go. It's Layla Credit. <laughs> there it is. Rodos just being a boss, you guys. He was a fusion. Okay, like I said, that was PL. That was pre Layla. That was a pre Layla. <laughs> PL, P -p -p Layla. <laughs> People say his fusion was very hard. Actually, I would love to know that, guys. Leave me some comments down below. Were you playing the game when Rodos was a fusion and how hard was it? I see a bunch of people on the channel saying that they weren't here at the time. I wasn't. I remember when I first started playing the game, I think Contra. I think Contra was the fusion. I'm trying to remember. And look at Rodos just being a boss. Rodos just being a boss. And boom, there we go. Hey, 
thank you wolf thank you so much for this showcase guys leave me some comments down below if you are running the sand devils necropolis you know what champs are bringing in what stage are you on are you finding it worth it i would love to know what you guys think thanks so much for watching hey check out some more videos up here in the playlist in the top right